I say, life is more than a struggle. However, it is even not less than a puzzle. A journey that I started in my mother's lap, let me tell you, can give you just a tiny bit. A little girl from the city, humble and shy, that's how I was, and I really don't know why. So this was the place where the soul was born, and one day, this will be the place where the soul will enter. Presiding officer, Toastmaster of the evening, fellow Toastmasters, and dear kids. It's an absolute honor to be back with the bang. I mean my first page. Describing me within a period of time is just like trying to search an end of a river, which is so continuous in itself. But certainly, it will end at a place, and that's how I might be able to jot down a few words for myself. Born in a nuclear family and a second sibling to my brother, I was not, never a pampered kid, but surely a jealous kind for sure. Because what I remember till today is that year, which I did when I saw my mother bring a jacket for my brother and nothing so exciting for me. <laughs> and the very next day, she immediately got me a huge set of kitchen utensils, play utensils, and that made me so happy and satisfied. But still today, I talk about these little things with my brother, and that definitely lightens up our day with laughter and sheer happiness. By now, you all might have guessed, I was never a sport lover, never. And one thing that I'm gonna regret all my life, if I could go back to time, then maybe I would want to become an enthusiast in the playground too. Although, I was never so much into playing, but staying inside home, I always loved to look into the page of dictionaries, addresses. That's how I've got love, I've grown love for words and knowledge about different parts of the world. I've got no idea when am I going to get to visit my favorite country, that is Egypt. I know it sounds strange to be visiting such a war-stricken nation, but hey, my adoration for this nation dates back to that phase of my life. When I was studying in grade four or five maybe, there was this subject called social studies back in school. We were, we were taught about different human civilizations and Egyptian civilization was one of them. Those mysterious mummies, fascinating living gods like pharaohs, and the attraction of the mega structures like pyramids. Wow, they are amazing. Somehow, one day, I'll have to visit that place. But let me tell you, I'm not like the shepherd boy from the alchemist who had a dream of finding, dirt, finding treasures hidden beneath the pyramids. Now, talking about my vision in life, I've always dreamt of becoming an inspirational woman or an influential woman, maybe. Now, what is it? It's a very big question mark even for me. But what I understand is, neither did I take up medicine nor engineering. So maybe management will surely help me end up somewhere where I can give something good to the society and its people. And my love for animals is not hidden from anyone. So being an animal rights activist is on my bucket list that I can see. Born to a father who was a lawyer, who is a lawyer, and a mother, an archaeological officer, I was always taught to be a disciplined child. But sometimes this discipline overpowers me and I tend to act very formal with my friends. That's the only complaint my friends have about me. Other than that, I'm a very considerate, humble, and a friendly kind of person. Now, how can I forget explaining about a very vital aspect of me? That is my family. My, I've seen my parents have two contrast personalities. I've seen my father in rage. That's when I've always compared him with the great Adolf Hitler. Maybe a very cordial man, I suppose. But after watching numerous documentaries on this German man, I realized that maybe it's not a very correct metaphor that I've used for my father, because neither I am a Jew, nor am I the part of the Holocaust. I'm just his little daughter. My mother, she is more than a friend to me, with whom I share all my daily routine. She is the only source of optimism in my life. My brother, on the other hand, is a source of inspiration to me. Though miles apart, he has always been there with a piece of advice, draped into love, draped with love of a brother and a sister. And I'm so thankful to the welcoming 
that I get each day after I reach home for my pet dog. Usually I don't prefer calling it a pet dog because he is like my little brother whom I have seen grow since my childhood days. Thus, this was the story of my life which I was given in order to strive. So much to give for what I do and the important things I cannot do. Over to you, Dr. Are you sure this is your first speech, or you just completed some different projects in some other course masters and then joined us fresh again? <laughs> uh, my next, uh, uh, my next speaker is a very enthusiastic person who is almost 100 degree, 100 percent. Uh, at least he shows up whenever I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> 